Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 94. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook, Magic Tricks 91 to 99. Hey, Trick 94, we are going to do something amazing. We're going to do a web query, data validation, and VLOOKUP, all to translate a balance sheet in dollars to another currency. And the trick to this whole thing is we want to be able to select any currency from a drop-down list here and have the balance sheet automatically update. First, though, we have to do a web query because the data validation in this cell and the formula using a VLOOKUP will all be based on data we get from a web query. In 2003, you have to go to the data menu, uh, import external data, and then import data. I always have notes. There's some notes up here of the pathway for the 2003. I'm going to scroll over here, and I'm going to click because we'll put our web query right there. Now we're going to go to data, get external data. And in 2007, they have a new button, ex existing connection. So we click here. In 2003, you get little drop down, or, um, a list of files, and you select on the MSN, Money Central Investor Currency Rates. I'm going to double click, and it's saying, hey, or I'll click open. Hey, where do you want to put this? H6 is just fine, so click OK. And just like that, it's going out to the internet and getting the latest uh, currency information. Now, look at this. We have a bunch of names we can use for data validation, and we have a table we can use for VLOOKUP. We're going to do British pound to dollar. So uh, we get 50.502 uh, pounds for every one dollar. Let's go over and look at our balance sheet. So for instance, here we have accounts receivable at one dollar. Here it needs to say 52 cents. Here it's two dollars. Here it needs to say about a dollar and two cents. So let's do our data validation and then our V lookup. All right, in 2003, you go to data, data validation. In 2007, you go to data and then data validation. The keyboard circuit that works everywhere, Alt-D-L, Alt-D-L. We're going to say list. Where is the list? Hey, we're going to click right there. Scroll over and very carefully click on the very top cell and control shift down arrow to grab all of the words. Click OK. Now, just like that, we have a drop down. We can select any single one. There's Canadian dollar. Notice there's a formula looking right there so that balance sheet is labeled. Uh, let's go ahead and select British pound to US dollar. Now, our formula. I'm going to highlight, actually, why don't we go name this? Click over here. Notice there's three columns. Control Shift Down Arrow. And we're going to name it. We're going to click in the name box. And. Uh, Currency uh, VL. I'm going to say currency VL. There it is. Notice here's what we're going to look up. One, two, the third column is what we want to return. So let's go over here and I'm going to highlight all the green cells and watch this. Even though they're not next to each other, I'm using the control key to highlight all of the green cells. And now we can enter one formula and control enter and it will populate all of the cells even though they're not next to each other. The light colored cell right here, in fact, I'll blow this up. In this light colored cell, and now I'm going to type equals, click on this, times, and then VLOOKUP. What do we want to look up? Hey, we have to look up from the data validation list. So that right there. And you need to lock it going down, because this formula is going to be copied uh, down across the rows, comma. And then I'm going to hit F3 to paste a name. There it is, currency VL, comma. And which column am I returning the value from? We need it from the third column. For instance, the British pound needs to be that 52.52. So it's the third column, comma, zero, because this is an exact match. We're looking up a word right here. Close parentheses, control enter. And just like that, you have converted. Now there's a problem here, so highlight this whole range right here, and we will change the format. Control one is the keyboard shortcut for format cells. Current, I'm going to say general, click OK. That way we can just have this and instantly see whatever, and the, the 
this column will be indicated by whatever it says up here. That's the unit that it's using. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, the derma, and there it is. All right, uh, that is a little bit about web query data validation and a V lookup from a web query. See you next Excel trick.